Welcome to Innovation Explorers. Experience the captivating realm of innovation, design, science, and technology. What is green technology? How does it work? Green technology is an umbrella phrase for the application of technology and science to generate environmentally friendly products and services. Green technology is connected to clean tech which refers to goods or services that increase operational effectiveness while lowering costs, energy consumption, waste, or negative environmental effects. The purpose of green technology is to safeguard the environment, restore past environmental damage, and conserve the Earth's natural resources. Green technology has also grown into a thriving business that has garnered massive sums of financial cash. Green technology adoption can be presented as a goal of a business division or a firm. These objectives are often expressed in a company's environmental, sustainability and governance ESG statement, but they can also be included in a firm's mission statement. Socially responsible investors are increasingly aiming to limit their future investments to companies that use or manufacture green technologies. Green Technologies History While green technology has grown in popularity in recent years, aspects of these business methods have been in use since the Industrial Revolution. Scientists began to examine the ecological repercussions of coal-burning industrial plants in the early 19th century, and manufacturers have worked to lessen their negative environmental externalities by changing production processes to produce less soot or waste by-products. One of the most significant turning points in American history was World War II. More than 400,000 volunteers began collecting metal, paper, rubber and other commodities for the war effort in order to limit consumption and waste. Following the war, experts such as Rachel Carson began warning about the dangers of chemical pesticides, while doctors around the world reported strange ailments linked to nuclear radiation. Many consider this period to be the birthplace of the ecology movement, which tried to preserve ecosystems and resources while raising awareness of the dangers of rogue technology. Government authorities gradually acknowledged the significance of environmental resource protection. Over the next few decades, cupside recycling programs became more prevalent, raising awareness about home waste. The Environmental Protection Agency, formed in 1970, established rigorous pollution and waste requirements, as well as mandates for coal scrubbers and other clean technologies. Types of green technology. Energy alternatives. Many companies are working to design alternative energy sources that do not contribute to atmospheric carbon in order to offer a viable substitute for fossil fuels. At the consumer level, solar and wind energy are currently among the most affordable energy sources, and solar panels are accessible to American homeowners. Tidal and geothermal energy are two possibilities that have not yet been widely used. Electric cars. The Environmental Protection Agency estimates that transportation-related activities contribute close to one-third of the nation's greenhouse gas emissions. In order to lower automobile emissions, many manufacturers are looking into switching to electrical power or designing more fuel-efficient engines. However, a number of advancements in other areas are needed for electric vehicles, including infrastructure for charging and high-capacity rechargeable batteries. The advantages of electric vehicles are further constrained by the continued use of fossil fuels in many power networks. Sustainable farming. The environmental impact of farming and raising livestock is significant including the high expenses of using land and water as well as the effects of pesticides, fertilizers, and animal waste on the ecosystem. Thus, 
There are numerous applications for green technology in the agricultural sector. For instance, the use of organic farming methods, improvements in cattle feed, and meat substitutes can all help to lessen the harm caused by animal consumption and soil fatigue. Recycling by reusing materials or identifying environmentally friendly alternatives. Recycling aims to save finite resources. The most popular recycling methods involve plastic, glass, paper, and metal debris. But more complex processes can be used to recover pricey raw materials from e-waste or auto parts. Capturing carbon. A collection of experimental technologies known as carbon capture aim to absorb and store greenhouse gases either at the site of combustion or from the atmosphere. The fossil fuel business has actively pushed this technology, but it hasn't yet lived up to expectations. In comparison to annual emissions, the largest carbon capture facility can only hold 4,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide per year. Use of green technology. Despite being a vast and difficult to define category, several forms of green technology have seen widespread adoption. In order to achieve this goal, significant investments would need to be made in alternatives such as paper substitutes, bioplastics, or recycling technology. Several nations have started attempts to ban single use plastics. For instance, Singapore has promised to accomplish 70% recycling by 2030, with fossil fuels acknowledged as a major contributor to climate change. Renewable energy is another frontier for the adoption of green technology. The Energy Information Administration estimates that the combined contribution of solar and wind power accounted for 70% of the additional energy capacity added in 2021. In 2020, the total amount invested globally in renewable energy sources will have surpassed $300 billion. Special points to consider. Green technologies aim to protect biodiversity and conserve the Earth's resources. But there are few ways to do this without also having an impact on the environment. In certain circumstances, Lowering environmental expenses in one area entails having a negative effect on another. Lithium, for instance, is frequently extracted through strip mining from South American rainforests and is used in the batteries of electric vehicles. Hydroelectric dams have high effects on the salmon and other species that depend on such waterways but have low carbon emissions. Solar panels and wind turbines are two examples of green energy technologies that need a variety of rare minerals that can only be mined with diesel-powered mining equipment. Green technology is not inherently doomed, but it does require thorough analysis to make sure that the advantages exceed the drawbacks.